Do I look cute? Yeah, I look cute. Hey guys, it's Lise here. Tonight, I'm going on a date. I am so nervous. <laughs> But excited a huge thank you to pandora jewelry for sponsoring this video my hair has been in this bun for like three days i need to do like a lot like head to toe tlc i don't know i have like no expectations honestly um going into this no expectations just want to have a good time and yeah so that's the vibe for tonight so with all that being said let's get started <laughs> Okay, so obviously first things first, I have to jump straight into the shower because I need to be clean, smelling fresh for tonight. And so first, I'm just gonna shampoo my hair since it's been a while. And of course, follow that with some conditioner just so I can make sure that my hair is moisturized and tangle-free. And I'm just gonna let this sit on my hair just so I can wash my body. And next I'm gonna shave. I want my skin to be super silky and soft and so I'm doing the full body shave tonight. Also, I put some music on and I'm just jamming in the shower right now just so I can get like in the mood. And so once I finish shaving, I'm just rinsing the conditioner out of my hair and with this, I'm pretty much good to get out the shower. Next, I'm just finishing up my skincare, applying my face lotions, my creams, all that good stuff. And I'm also using my favorite body lotion. And of course, I have to brush my teeth just to make sure that my breath is extra minty. For my hair, I feel like I'm just gonna style it curly because when I go on dates, I want people to know like I have naturally curly hair, you know? So it's like, I don't like to slick it back or anything like that because I feel like that's low key me trying to like hide my curls. But for my outfit, I think I wanna pick my outfit now just so I can kind of get the vibe for like what I'm wearing because the outfit for me is always like the hardest part of getting ready. All right, so my closet is kind of a mess right now, but I'm thinking either of doing like a really cute bodysuit and some jeans or just maybe wearing a dress tonight. Mm, I mean, I don't want to wear long, that's for sure. That's like doing too much, but maybe something more, definitely not that. <laughs> maybe something more chill. I think this is cute. I'm gonna pull this out. I feel like this could be cute. So we got the dress, potential dress. I've never worn this before, but it looks really cute on. We're going out to dinner. I don't know, it's really flattering with like the ruching. I also feel like jewelry is really, really important. And so for this dress, I don't wanna have too much jewelry, but I'm just gonna show you guys like the different options I have. I used to think that Pandora was like only those Pandora bracelets with like the little gems on them, like the little charms. Pandora jewelry, they have stepped up the game. The stuff that I have is so freaking beautiful. Like, I have to show you guys. I kind of went a little bit crazy. I was just like, this is so pretty. And I got some rings. This is another necklace. They're both kind of like choker. And this is a bracelet that I got. It's more of like a cuff. And some earrings. I really, really, really love these hoops. Like, it has like the little like diamonds on it. Then I have these gorgeous stud earrings, which match with the necklace. They're expertly crafted and hand finished in genuine metals. So I'm trying to figure out like what is gonna match with this right now. So I feel like I could either do something more simple and just have like a statement piece or I can like mix and match and kind of like do layering. This is like first date, you know? So I don't wanna do too much. I don't wanna do too much. Hey Bubba, which necklace do you think? The one on the left or the one on the right? I think he's saying to go for this one, to be honest. Style and stack your way and make sure to click the link below to be able to check out Pandora Jewelry. It's just kind of good for me to visualize my outfit and everything just so I can know like for the makeup, you know, I just, I need to see everything. So, yeah. 
Okay, so I just put this shirt on real quick so I can get started on my hair. Like I mentioned before, I like to wear my hair curly when I first meet people. Oh my gosh, my hair. Every time I like, I see my hair, like I swear it gets longer and longer every single time. I'm gonna quickly style my hair and do my curly hair routine and just get my hair looking good for tonight. So this is what my hair is looking like pre-fluff. Didn't fluff it yet. I need to hurry up because it is already 6.45. We're supposed to meet at eight. I see you guys in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. This has been like my everyday kind of like makeup routine, like when I want to look cute, you know? For my brows lately, I've been trying to make them thicker. And then I just take a Q-tip, one of these like pointed ones, just to clean up the top. And then to shape up the bottom, I'm taking some concealer and I'm just gonna carve that out real quick. I've been brushing my brows up with like a lot of brow gel, just to make them look fuller and give it kind of like that laminated brow look, you know? Okay, now that my brows are on, I feel like I can actually like talk because I like have to concentrate when I'm doing my brows. I'm gonna go in with this medium brown here and just pop this in my crease. So is this the first date that I've been on like since my breakup? No. You know, dating is like actually exhausting to be honest. It really actually is. And I've heard so many things about dating in LA and everyone's like, oh my gosh, the LA guys are like kind of weird. Whew. Were they not kidding? Once you've been through a bad relationship and you know like what to look out for, you just see through everything. You see the red flags. There is a fine balance between dating for fun and also like wasting your time. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure everything out to be honest. But it is nice to get out and it is nice to just, you know, have a meal and meet somebody new and just see like what the vibe is, you know? I really truly don't have any expectations at all. Okay, so for the crease, I just took a medium brown and blended it out with this brown. So that's literally all the eyeshadow. So then I'm just gonna create an eyeliner with eyeshadow and I'm gonna use the dark brown right here. I met this guy off of a dating app, so I'm low-key kind of, you know, terrified. Just kidding, no. I've met people off dating apps before, but I would prefer to meet somebody, like, in real life. But it just seems so hard nowadays to meet people. Like, I need to know, like, the hot spots to, like, meet cute, attractive guys. <laughs> I use the brown to create this eyeliner, and then I'm going in with the black. And I'm just going to intensify the line, like, near my lash line. I'm gonna move on to the face while this is sitting and then I can put my lashes on. I like to go for like very light to medium coverage. I like to have the makeup so light that people still think that it's like that's your skin. You know what I mean? I like to use just like a light concealer and it's gonna just add like some brightness under my eyes. And then I also bring it down here and some on my chin. I used to put concealer on my forehead because like that's what everybody did. Like they put concealer on the forehead. So it's like, that's what I thought I had to do. But that's to make the forehead bigger. And I feel like I'm good, you know, like I'm, I'm good there. I'm just adding some bronzer. At this point, my mascara is dry, so I'm gonna pop my falsies on. I feel like I'm doing pretty good on time. Like, this look takes me probably, like, close to, what, 25 minutes to do? 
gonna take a little bit of my highlighter and just kind of pop it right in the front of the eye and then also like right in the inner corner here. For blush, I'm gonna go for this pink coral and just pop this on my cheeks. For lips, I'm going in with this pretty brown lip liner. I'm gonna go in with a lip cream, one that's not gonna transfer. When I eat, I don't want the like lip color to disappear. And then to lighten it, just in the center, I'm gonna take this nude. And I do like to wear lip gloss, even though the lip gloss is probably not gonna stay on when I eat, but I just like to take it on the back of my hand. That way I can keep my like container and like the applicator from getting like color on it. I just take a lip brush, be professional AF, and just coat this all over. But of course, I'm gonna take my lip color with me, so I'm probably just gonna take the lip cream just because it's easy to apply and I can just whip it on. And I'm gonna finish off with some setting spray. I do not want my makeup to be coming off. And this is the final makeup. I used to try to do like super, super natural, like undetectable makeup because I'm just like, well guys don't really like when girls wear a lot of makeup, but it's like, you know what? I like to wear makeup. I like to have bold lashes. If you got a problem with it, then you shouldn't be on a date with me and that's that. So now it's time to change into the outfit. I've literally been in my pajamas. Let's see how this looks on first. If not, I'm gonna change maybe into like a black outfit, but I really like this dress, so I'm hoping that it looks cute. Okay, so. So this is what the dress is looking like. Very, very cute. I'm really happy with this. So for shoes, I ultimately decided on these nude shoes with like this clear strap. I was kind of looking at maybe the strappy, the strappy nude, but I just feel like it's too much. You know, this heel is like a lot shorter, so I feel like it's better for like, you know, first date vibes, like it's not too much. Now that I have the dress on, I can finally accessorize and add my final touches. I just keep going back to this Pandora necklace. So I'm definitely gonna try this one on and see what it looks like because I feel like it's gonna look really cute. Okay. Whew. This took forever with my long nails. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so pretty. For the earrings, I was really eyeballing these hoops. So I just wanna see what they look like. Oh yeah. I am loving these hoops. Like I, I feel like the jewelry actually like pulled this look together. I feel like I need something like on my hands, like maybe a bracelet or something, or maybe some rings. I have this cuff. I could do the cuff. But I feel like I kind of want to do maybe like just some simple stackable rings. I think I'm gonna put one here. This is how I style the rings. Just really simple, you know, just like cute, dainty. Do I look cute? Yeah, I look cute. This is the final date night look. I got my jewelry on, I got my dress. I feel really good, honestly. Like, I love the way that this dress looks. Pray for me. I have to get going. Like, I literally have to leave within the next, like, two seconds. <laughs> so if you like this video, then please make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Another huge thank you to Pandora Jewelry for sponsoring this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.